Seriously, this is what you guys want to see? Me in the snow going to the mailbox? Perhaps I should be reviewing cold medicine instead of fountain pens. Hello there, welcome to my channel. My name is Doug, back with another fountain pen review. Today I have another hero. Yes, that's right, another hero. How many heroes are there? Well, apparently there are thousands. Another rabbit hole for us fountain pen collectors. And here it is. It's the Hero 9315. Let's unbox this and take a look at it right now. And here we are with the box of the Hero 9315. My other Hero, the 565, that I just did a review on, just came in a bubble wrap, so this is nice. Of course, the 565 was a little less expensive than this one. I picked this up on eBay for about $14 US. I'll show the auction here. The box is sturdy cardboard with the Hero logo emblazoned on the front and the year of incorporation of the company, 1931. Take a look at that logo because you'll be seeing it again later. We open the box to reveal a card from Hero with Chinese lettering, more Chinese lettering, and I see, what's that, 50 degrees centigrade, you know what that means, and 2015 actually might be when the pen was manufactured. And here is the pen in a really nice velour covered plastic bed and a little ribbon, so a nice gift box. And here's the pen. that away and open up the pen sleeve and here we have the pen we see a gunmetal gray or pewter colored metal pen with a lovely crosshatch pattern either chased or chiseled into the surface I'm not an engineer uh, so I can't tell which but uh, as I understand it, chasing is akin to stamping, where chiseling entails removing material. This looks stamped into the surface, as far as I can tell. This is looking very similar to another gunmetal gray pen I reviewed recently, and that was the Year N878. It's a much heavier pen, but they both have that same shiny gunmetal look to them. So what I want to do is go over the parts and features of this pen, show some measurements, some size comparisons, and then do a writing sample. Let's start with the finial. I've seen other reviews remark that this is a Mont Blanc logo that we see here. Um, I don't doubt for a moment that Hero is suggesting the Mont Blanc logo here, but it is the Hero logo, as you can see here but it is done in white with a plastic surround. So if the company intended their logo to look like a Mont Blanc, I think they probably did it long ago, maybe in 1931. There's nothing Mont Blanc about this pen in any way. However, it is very Parker. I've talked before about the fascinating history of the joint project between Hero and Parker, initiated by Parker in the 70s to manufacture the Parker 45 in China. See the description below where I'll put a link to Frank Underwater's article about it. It's worth a read. This pen has Parker Sonnet written all over it. It's very similar to the Parker Sonnet Cizel. My French pronunciation is particularly awful, so I apologize for that, but uh, it's not my fault. Uh, my French teacher was Scottish. She was from Glasgow. And uh, in Madame Doherty, if you're out there, Monse le barbecue, ouvre la crevette. Jacques Baudet à la pareil. I would like to buy a hamburger. 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 That's the extent of my French. So, as I understand it, the, the French word cizel means to chisel or carve. 
and it was a style that arrived in 1964 with the Parker 75 and the 75th anniversary of Parker. And it was designed by Don Doman after the design of his cigarette case. This is not that same chiseled pattern as seen on the Parker 75 or the Parker Sonnet Cizel. It is more like the pattern on the 2010 Parker Sonnet Dark Grey Lacquer. Although that pen had gold hardware, and in other re reviews, I've seen this pen with rose gold hardware on it. So the, uh, the finial, the clip, and the cap band were all in rose gold. And that made for a, a, uh, a much more attractive pen than this very monochrome, emphasis on chrome, design. The largest tell, of course, is this Parker arrow clip. There's no mistaking that. The cap band is engraved with some Chinese characters and then Hero and then 9315. The cap and body in shape are very similar to the Parker Sonnet. And here's a sonnet to go next to it. And you can see that they're very, very similar in size and shape. The Hero actually is much closer to the Bauer 388. In fact, they're almost identical, and their bands are exactly the same size. The cap snaps off to reveal a number five size steel nib that has the Hero logo, Hero, and some scroll work. And there's the plastic feed. And there is a plastic liner on the inside of that cap but a metal piece that holds the finial on. The cap posts deeply and securely, and even though this is a heavier pen, uh, it doesn't back weight it so much that it feels uncomfortable. In fact, I think this pen probably feels more comfortable in my hand posted than unposted. So the, the balance is still forward here, that feels a little better to me. The section is tapered chrome, and it does feel slick, as most metal sections do. You don't feel that step down at all, and there's a small ring towards the nib, and it feels very comfortable. You can sort of grip it anywhere, up and down. But that could get a little bit slick. In fact, Let's look, the 388 and the 9315 side by each. I sticking a pen when uh, the guy take the stick, you know, and he go like that. You know, you don't do that. You don't do that. Oh no, never, never. Why not? Against the rules. You know, you're stupid when you do that. Just some English pig with no I brain at all, um... you know. And you can see that the nibs sections are almost identical. Only this one, on the Bauer, is plastic. They're solid plastic, so don't settle for imitation. Similar to the Sonnet, which has a plastic tapered and a little bit longer section. And of course that unique Sonnet nib on there is different than the number five on the Hero or the Bauer. So now I'm going to clean this pen out with some soap and water and ink it up and come back with a writing sample right after we look at these measurements and size comparisons. And please stay until the end of the writing sample where I'll say what I like and what I don't like about this pen.
here we are back again for the writing sample with the Hero 9315. I chose Hiroshizuku Takasume, which is a lovely charcoal gray for this gunmetal gray pen. And I realized I didn't show also that the pen comes with a cartridge converter that is branded Hero. And it also takes what they call Chinese standard cartridges. These can be had by the jarful from eBay. And I put the measurements of the throat of both the cartridge and the, con and the uh, converter on the measurements section. So I'm going to write with this pen posted. It's much more comfortable that way. And this is the Hero. nine three one five the uh, nib is not marked on what it is it feels like a medium but uh, it's sort of between a medium and a fine i'm going to call it a medium because it's a little bit thicker than than fine and the ink today as i just mentioned is a roshizuku Okay, sue me. Call a lawyer and sue me. Sue me. What can you do me? It's a relatively wet pen. And I'm pleasantly surprised. No tuning on this nib at all. It's very smooth. Dyslexic today. Writing backwards. As to line variation, that's no pressure. That's pushing it. It's very stiff, as you would expect. Let's listen to this nib. That's really, really nice. I'm very surprised. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. You expect these uh, uh, less expensive pens to need a little bit of work on the nibs. And when it turns out that I put the ink in them and I put it to paper and I don't have any work to do, I'm a little bit, oh, well, that's interesting. And let's see about some reverse writing. Well, that is very dry, but wow, it's very smooth. This is the smoothest reverse writing nib I've, I've sampled in a while. And despite its heft, it's, uh, it's not that uh, unpleasant in the hand. So, what do I like and what do I not like about this pen? Well, let's look at what I like first. First, the overall look of the pen. It's very sleek. Of course, it's taken its design and style from the Parker Sonnet, which is a very sleek, very modern, very good-looking, attractive pen. And it's got this crosshatch pattern on it, which is very nice. The gunmetal gray and chrome um, some might like the monochrome look of that, um, but I also like that the pen posts very deeply and very securely, and that clip, of course, very usable, goes in the pocket very nicely, and the secure click when it snaps shut. It's uh, ergonomically a really nice writer. 
feels well balanced in the hand. And of course, just the way it writes, very, very smooth. What I don't like about the pen, well, there are a couple of sort of standard things about metal pens that I don't like. One is the fact that this is a fingerprint magnet, uh, and I'm OCD when it comes to that. I'm obsessive compulsive. Yeah. Oh. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Oh. One, two, three, four. Yeah. So I always tend to have a cloth next to me. I always have a cloth to wipe off my glasses anyway, because I don't like any smudges on my glasses. I don't like any smudges on my pen. So uh, that's one of the downsides of one of these very shiny mirror kind of pens. The other downside is that that, that section is rather slippery. My hands are relatively dry right now because it's winter and my hands get very dry in the winter. But uh, if you get uh, at all um, slippery hands you know, with sweat or whatever in the summer, that can get very, very slick. Also, it's a bit slim for me. That uh, section goes down to about nine millimeters, and that's about the tolerance for me. I, I like a, a bigger, uh, girthier kind of a pen, and when writing with this for a while, um, my hand tends to cramp up because my, my fingers, especially my guitar fingernails, to remind you all that if you've made it this far without throwing up because I've got fingernails, are you okay? I play the guitar, and therefore I have long fingernails on my thumb, my index finger, my middle finger, and my ring finger. The other ones are all trimmed and neat, as you can see. So I'm not a freak. Finish your oatmeal, son. Why bother? I'm just a freak! A freak! So thanks for noticing, and thanks for commenting. So, there you have it. The Hero 9315. A perfectly beautiful pen, very reasonable at about $14 US with free shipping, and very comparable to the Bauer 388 and the Parker Sonnet. You might notice that my Bauer 388 came in the mail with a couple of dents on it. I don't know whether you can see that or not, but it got squashed in the mail. So, if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And ring that bell so that you'll be notified of whenever I post a new video. And that just leaves it for me to say... Thank you... For watching... And that's all she wrote.